Oh, maybe it'd help if I unmuted my microphone. Because, of course, I wouldn't be streaming if I didn't do something wrong. Alright, hopefully people can hear me if there's anyone. I'm broadcasting to the void, that's, that's okay too. This is mostly just for proof that I can finish a game with the word May in the title. Boy, this intro is long, no wonder they've... <laughs> have a skip option. Oh boy, this game does look amazing on C64. Like, I wouldn't call it 16-bit, but boy. It reminds me of the really late era NES games in terms of graphical quality and tricks used to make it look really impressive. Hopefully that rumbling in the, from the vehicle in the background wasn't too loud, but well, we'll find out when I watch the VOD. Press fire to continue. So, the way this game works is that you start in a sad version of the world, you have to pick up magic, drop it off, and then you get a happy version where you collect all the stars. So here's the sad version. I'm using a custom-built arcade stick that I made myself that has an option to switch up to the second button, so... Rather than up to jump, I'm using another button. Makes control a lot easier. Press down and fire to go down below platforms. And now I just 
hop and bop on these guys until I get enough magic dust to make things happy. You can take a couple hits before you die, but obviously I don't want to take any hits. The levels sort of wrap, but you also have dead ends like that one that I just went past. But that I know that directly. Oh, so much for not taking any hits. Oh well. I am not dead yet. Just four magic left to get. But down there, that little wavy thing that I'm standing over is uh, the direction to go to deliver the magic dust. Hey, V7. Just playing some Commodore 64. As I mentioned, I was trying to, still trying to get all the magic dust so I can make the world happy. I'm intending to play it very safe. Uh, it's actually S-Video. Well, that's not a great start. Yeah, it's S-Video. This is about as good as you can get without, uh opening up the C64 and doing internal modifications. Which I think about doing, but like, this this works okay, it looks alright. One magic. Uh, let's go back, maybe there's one in the sort of semi-underground area. Oh yeah, this is a great game. Definitely worth playing. And it'll probably won't run great on your C64 Maxi. This is being run on a real PAL C64 though. Oh yeah, got all the magic I need. And we deliver it. Our oh, C64 Maxi, sorry, I misread. But yeah, it'll work fine on there. Uh, depending on the version you have, it might run a little fast, because C64 minis tend to be NTSC if you're in North America. And here's where the game really begins. Now it's a collectathon. I need to get 153 stars. There's a bunch of power ups to pick up too. There's one that is essential in this stage, which lets you run sort of like a permanent Sonic Spin Dash. Oh, if yours is an import, that would be very handy because. Most good Commodore 64 games are, pal. <sighs> oh well. Yeah, it's it it's one of the best looking C64 games that came out back when the C64 was still active. Okay, I got the power up. So I can, as I hit max speed, I can bulldoze enemies.
But of course, it's really easy to just go off a cliff if I'm not careful. Can I bop one of these? Sort of. Yeah, it's kind of Kirby-esque. It's very colorful. Oop, that didn't go well. I like how the music changes in different areas in the level. At least it remembers how many stars I've collected. Well, I'm trying to beat the game and this isn't a great start, but we'll get as far as we can and see what happens. So this is a bit of a trick, like if you look very, very carefully at some of these blocks down below you can see little white lines like see the heart and then I guess they, they're a little darker on the capture but like I'm standing above what is a slightly visible platform Them. Yep. Normally I don't like using the bulldozer because you kind of are out of control when you're running that fast. The rabbits are score multipliers, so theoretically there's a fair bit of a score game you could get into if you wanted to go for a maximum possible score. But I'd just be happy if I could finish this game. Oh, you can bulldoze those. Cool. I didn't know if that would work. Well, this attempt isn't going well. I can't recall if you can actually earn extra lives, but I certainly hope so.
16 stars to go. In stage one. <laughs> That dragon has a star. <clears throat> yeah, this is just going great. I'm not going to continue on stage one. Three continues is nice though, because like, again, my goal is to just finish it, so I'm not going to be going for full 1cc, or technical 1cc. That dash is a power-up, so I don't have it now. I have to wait till I go back to happy version of Jellyland to get it. Time back to going through this side and then back the other way to get all my magic. One-up flashes when I go through a checkpoint. Does that restore my health? I don't remember. I mean, I guess I could take a hit and see what happens. Yeah, so my lives are flashing blue now, so if I go through another checkpoint, what happens? It's just monsters, anime freak. Yeah, so it stopped flashing blue, so checkpoints do recover your health. Good to know. And I know, I know the guy right here drops it. I don't need to bother with him yet because I still need two more. Or drop it? Nope. Or bat or whatever it is. There is no suffering when you're playing Commodore 64 games. It's all joy. get that one more back at the station every enemy <sighs> got to stop doing that Love that little bit of music.
There we go. Got the power up. See if I can avoid falling into pits again. the other way. Ah, uh, this was 1993, so no. Kirby was what on Game Boy? 89? 90? And 93 was very late in the Commodore 64's life. This was kind of the last of the big, big budget games. Before the only things that came out for the next few years were stuff that was like disc mags and things. And then starting in like 2005, 2006, you started seeing modern homebrew. Dreamland was that late? What about Kirby's Adventure? Ninety-three, huh? So yeah, this is roughly contemporary with Kirby. No. Could have gone for a checkpoint or health refill or something before I tried that. Oh well. See, there's one right there. If I bought that guy, I would have been A-OK. -okay. Please drop health, please drop health. Go away, bird. Now the last time I tried that I couldn't get past that guy without taking a hit, so I'm gonna go get more health before I come back here. Maybe this guy dropped some? Nope. There are generally more stars on them than you need on each stage according to the manual, so maybe I won't have to go back. 
I'm just trying to finish it, not going for maximum score. Alright, can I get that? Yep. You can sort of see when there's invisible... invisible, uh, platforms. Like, there's... Like, just at the top of the bottom set of cubes, you can see that's slightly different than the rest of the bottom set of cubes. the finish line. I still need 24 stars though. Well, I'll get the checkpoint. Let's see what else I can get. Get the other stars. Uh -oh. farm enemies for stars? Like they're dropping score points, but not stars. Well, these seem to all respawn, so... Or, I just didn't get them. I just have to eat a hit on that guy because whatever you have to do to get up there cleanly is something that's not within my repertoire. Yeah, that's all the stars I need if I get every single one here. get back without getting hit cuz i'm back down to 1 hp Superstar bonus. Oh, hey, okay, an extra one up. That'll be handy. Hype land. That is sad. Still the run? Yep. Got him. I wonder if I could use him to bounce up there. I wonder if there's anything hidden up there. Oh well.
Seven magic. I haven't spotted the, uh... Oops. Oh, here's hoping I can find a checkpoint. Am I gonna be brave enough to bop him? Yup. That was for nothing. Ah, should have just accelerated. That didn't work the way I thought it might. And one of the enemies down there did drop magic, so I'm gonna have to go back. Just avoid that, whatever that is. The big bowling ball that. Big bowling ball that shoots little ones? But I know this guy drops magic. Oh no. Hmm. Well, that's one way to get out. I'm just playing stu stupid. <laughs> Play cautious. guys invulnerable? I bop them? Yep. Still need two magic. Oh, I can go up. Over there. Like so. Definitely get that. Whoops. Decelerated. Mm. 
magic. No magic. This looks like a trap. This... Uh. Oh, man. Yes, we're gonna continue. Oh, hey, it starts you at your checkpoint. You don't even have to replay the rest of the level. Let's thank heaven for small mercies. didn't even drop magic. Oh, hey, I have full magic. When did that happen? Oh. Hey, this game is hard. Also, I'm bad, but this game is also hard. I'm running fast. I don't know. Catch you later, dude. Now, back to Happy World. And back to me falling into pits. Sure, I expect it to happen there. Happy but deadly world. All right. So, how do I get that star up there? bop on him and yep mental note don't overthink it I'm not going to even try to get that heart oh maybe I am
That's a cool mechanic. We learned previously we can't. Is there a secret down there? Or is that just gonna kill me? Hmm. Oh no. Well, back to hunting for a checkpoint. It's actually cool how different the level design is in this this stage compared to Jellyland. Lots more obstacles. Okay. You can't even kill them, you can just... What? But did it give me stars? Question mark? I have questions. Doesn't it look like aerial enemies ever drop stars, so I don't think I need to bother with them unless they're actually in the way. Like, I'm gonna need those stars, I suspect, so... There we go. That's a really cool mechanic bouncing off of those. Uh oh. Oh well, checkpoint's right here.
Okay, so you can still die if you run into them from behind. Or... I'm not sure what's going on there, but whatever. Still need a lot of stars. And I'm at the end of the level, so... I guess I have to go all the way back, because... I guess I didn't explore the, uh, the rightmost section of the level. Let's try bopping this bird. Nothing, nothing. So you can reset checkpoints. One day I'll learn to stop doing that. Not today, but one day. Go back up here. Tell her to get the bird and then get wrecked.
Oh, there's stars up there. Okay, so you can't hit those guys with spikes from behind. <sighs> One more shot. What's the time? Oh, 20 after 6. I got time. Man, this is easy in comparison. Very simple. No acceleration, no weird alignment of enemies, just sound up, bop, collect magic. I'm not even gonna bother with the checkpoints, because I don't need them right now. Was getting a checkpoint now and then dying would just send me farther back. Get checkpoint, immediately get hit. A circle of life. I lose a life here, I'll probably just reset, because I refuse to go in without optimal lives. I am going to need a full HP to deal with that guy, though. Ah, checkpoint. Man, imagine if Kirby was this difficult. I can go back and get another checkpoint to reset. Assuming I don't get hit. Yeah, because that checkpoint's gonna. No, I refuse. Nope. Nope. Uh uh.
Yes, I will be using that checkpoint back here. to get hit. And remember to grab the magic. I have two hit points. I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. I used that checkpoint, so I'll probably have to. Nope, 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 nope. Not happening. Nope. Refuse. Nope. Stat is sad indeed. to this simple task that I seem incapable of performing.
Alright. One magic left. Haven't taken any hits. <laughs> Why do I say things? Oh well. Checkpoint. I'll go get the other checkpoint. Like, I don't even need that hit point, but, you know, it's just extra safety. There we go. No deaths. I guess red hearts are extra lives and blue hearts are just extra HP. There we go. Uh, lightning bolt lets you do that. Don't know why I take out birds. I keep forgetting that they don't actually drop stars. Or at least they haven't yet, so who knows if... They break the rules later on. Yeah, so is that health or... Yep, looks like it's, that's just health. Shouldn't have picked it up. Oh well. That should be an extra life. Can I get that somehow? Is there a place I can drop down here? Yep. gone bad. There we go.
probably go find it. There we go. Deal with this stupid bird. Excellent health. health before I can deal with him. Please drop health. Nope. Okay. Nice. Oh. Cool. I will take an extra life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm running out of time. Well... That solves the health and the time issue. I just need to get to that dude without getting hit, and then I can take care of business. So good. Ah, I could have gotten that extra life. Oh well. Excellent. Eight lives. That's that's what I want to see. As I recall, the drop down was away on the other side, so we do this direction first? Maybe? So if I don't bop that bird, I can probably get back up without taking a hit from Cannonball Dude here. Uh, 
Well, let's see if it works. Nope. I'm an idiot. Wait. Where'd he go? Or is he only in the happy version? Magic to go. understand the rules around those guys yet because I thought you couldn't kill them period Okay, full oh, magic. I don't have to go the other direction on this map. I knew that was gonna happen and I still let it happen. <laughs> Not quite clever enough. So we go all the way right, and we go all the way left, and then we go back to the, uh, the finish line. Yes, I want that extra life. Oh, 
afraid that it's just gonna go surprise you walk down a bo bottomless pit. I mean, I'll take that. if you can get it from the other side. Yep. Well, I can't drop down. Hmm. 
Right, spikes can't go from attack him from that direction. Oh well. Should probably go find another checkpoint, because that one's a little far away. Okay. Doing a lot better this round than my previous attempt at this world. Even if I lost a bunch of lives in the process, I still have seven. Plus fool continues. This. <sighs> kind of want them to desync as much as you can so you can bop it without the bowling ball thing <laughs> coming down on you. There we go. Twenty stars left. Ninety nine. There's the finish line, so... 
Hopefully I can find stars on the other side of it. Huh, you can inch through. Question mark? Do I just not get the star bonus? Well, whatever. Oh, this is great. Foreground objects. Perfect. Well, this is going south real fast. <sighs> I'm probably gonna wrap up in about 10 minutes so I can make and eat dinner. Okay, don't get hit.
Oh well. Is there another checkpoint? Anywhere? No. Speaking of problems, this this bird. Ah, phew. Disagree. what I was trying to accomplish there. got an extra continue. Cool. Problem is, continues are only worth three lives, so it's better to rack up more and more lives in the earlier stages, I guess. And then, you know, not die. Like I just did. Go the other way and see what there is. Hopefully I can just ignore that guy. Mm-hmm. 
All right. I bet I die if I step on him while he's spiky. Yep. like large areas with wide pits. I also don't like those enemies. Man, I can't even get to the happy version of this stage. Especially not when I play like that. So good. Two magic left. And this is the end of this side of the stage. I didn't see the uh, drop down yet for giving the magic to the dragon, so I guess it's behind all those hellish trees somewhere. Good ends are not a lie, you just have to work for them. Go at him from. Oh, yeah, so he's basically invulnerable because I'd have to do that stupid duck walk to get through. Bad idea.
Well, last attempt. I'm gonna call it after this. Oh, it's 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 quarter after seven. No, I'm I'm on tilt. Like, yeah, I downloaded Battlefield Five already. We are going to find somebody to raid because I am not thinking clearly anymore. What do I even? Who's streaming still? And we will leave it on the status sad screen because that's very funny to me. Uh, let's see. Oh! Cisei is streaming a Sonic Robo Blast 2 cart, so we're gonna send you guys over there. How do I do this again? Google how to raid. Right. Thanks again for coming out. See you again sometime soon.